this first match of day nine of the Rugby League World Cup was probably the most important in Pool C because I thought Ireland, after their win last week, had a really good shot against Lebanon of finishing in second place, especially without Adam Dewahi. But in the end, Lebanon just too classy. But there is a big shout out to Ireland. Lucas Senior, you're about to see it pulled off. One of the biggest hits in Rugby League World Cup history. Apologies, guys. There's something going wrong. BBC Sport. Have a look at this. Boom. That is easily the biggest hit of the tournament so far. But there seems to be a problem as you see it in slow motion for you. With England, BBC Sport own the rights. They're the Fox League of the Rugby League World Cup. But for some reason, their clips are unavailable to myself in Australia. So may need a VPN for that one. But in the end, Lebanon, just too good. I kind of got on the island hype train. That is where my last name comes from. Yes, my parents are Australian. So are my grandparents. But I do have a bit of Ireland and a bit of Scotland in me. So I was, was rooting for where the Rangers come from in this one. Is that racist? I guess I'm a Ranger, so I can say it. But Lebanon, just too good, just too classy. I thought Mitchell Moses was outstanding in this one. Love seeing him run the ball more. Yes, he need an organizing half. But in this sort of competition against this sort of talent, Mitchell, just run it, mate. You're a great runner. You're one of the best running halfbacks in the competition, so just put the foot down. Him and Dewahi, they're so important for Lebanon's success, and I thought without him, they'd struggle a bit, but Jacob Kiraz, he stood up big time for Lebanon. Look, I don't want to put the jinx on it, because I did think Kiraz should be winger. I think he should be in the centers and keep the young fella there. I can't believe it. It's like 2 a.m., guys. Give me a break. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. Jake Avarillo. He should be the fullback next year for the Bulldogs because they definitely need to make the top eight sooner rather than later. But don't be surprised if Jacob Kiraz can end up there long term. It was a very physical game, but Ireland, just a lot of discipline, getting two sin bins, and they probably should have had more. They had great, great contact, especially from Lucas Senior, who I think could have an NRL club in his future. Their forwards sort of got dominated. Yes, they were physical in the grubby sense, but they were dominant. And Lucas Senior was still able to score two, still able to stand out with both attack and defense. But Lebanon, just too good. They're probably going to finish in second place. But guys, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, let's go. Ken Samoa, get some revenge with their game against Greece later on today.